Okay, this is the property on Delaware. As you enter the house, you're in this, I guess, formalish living room. You have your smart closet, coat closet by the door. But it opens up into the kitchen, which is very nice. You have a swirled ceiling, tough to see, in the living room. And then they break it into the kitchen dining room area. Height of this window is not suitable to put benches on, that's for sure. This is the original part of the house. Bedroom. Typical closet, new windows, this room is about 10 by 10, and of course the wall switch is behind the door. They should have put the doors going the other direction. Scuttle access to the front part of the attic, linen closet. And the you get a swirl ceiling in the bathroom, maintenance free tub, toilet, sink. And we have two more bedrooms. This one's a little bit bigger issue with the vent there. Across the hall is the original master. Again new carpet, flat paint on the walls, walk-in sort of closet, and the master has a half bath. Now, we're going to head back down the hallway towards the living room. And here's the redone kitchen. Nice granite. New cabinets. Let's see here. Yes, quiet clothes. Sexy Lazy Susan. And the cupboards have quiet clothes too. All stainless steel. You have dishwasher, electric range, side-by-side -side fridge, and the island. And the island is... The island is not attached. So it's movable. All right, from the, this is the eat-in portion of the kitchen. We have what appears to be the pantry. And then when you step down, you're in a great room that was added at some time with a wood-burning fireplace, recessed lighting, sliding glass doors out to your covered patio. Alright, step back up and we're going down this hallway those are the stairs that will go up to last. Over here is the laundry area laminate floor water heater 
Well, this door. This is your patio. Please ignore the nasty snow. Your patio's covered, lighted, but I have to draw your attention to the crack right there. The crack that goes into the brick. And these posts, that's a concrete base with a metal post. It's tough to see in the video, but um, the weight of the addition upstairs is causing this part back here to sink on both sides. your neighbors and I'll shoot more from upstairs in a moment but that's living space they put in and driveway comes up there's no garage no extra storage but your driveway does come into the gated part of the backyard all right let's go upstairs Breaker box, you have 200 amp service, and there's extra space for extra items. So, we have a bedroom, I guess. Well, it's a room, there's no closet in here, so this would be an office nursery across the hall is a bedroom about 12 by 16 maybe here's a family bath you can see it in the floor, but the floor is not level. Very noticeable when you walk on it. There's a, a crown. Nice shower. Pedestal sink. And then there's the upstairs master. And again, there's a in this part of the hallway, there's a big dip. Again, it's tough to see, but this floor is not level. And again, this is the area that is being held up by the steel post down below. Um, your neighbor. If you're not seasick yet, this is the upstairs master. Master closet, master tub. toilet.
hope this has helped. Now we're going to move on to the other one. I just received a text message and I'm hoping that the other agent saying we can go. All for now.